Sporting right touch of hands. Round number one. There's that fast start. I'm a no born in the Bronx, raising data. Been in the city since Pitt had braids. But hop on the parties, but I know how to sneak me out. Now with seven figure meetings every day, we need a house. It's game time, the game's mine, you know the vibe. Yo, yeah, how a moon and dead or repping 305. Welcome everybody to another episode of Don't Blink Podcast. Yes, <laughs> we in here. I got the kid in the building. You already know. Today we got K Marie. Yes. La gringa más latina. Yeah. In the building. Yep. Thank you so yep. much for joining us, man. No, I'm so yeah, excited to be on here. a podcast in English for yeah. once. You oh, know? really? By the a lot yeah. of Spanish things lately? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, her, old, her, her being on the radio, she's taking on the Spanish. I, I and you know, know what I'm saying? I, I she's know. killing it and she's doing Thank the thing. You. Well, Thank let me ask you. I know. I, I see on my paperwork here, you're from Minnesota originally. Yes. So when, when did you start start speaking Spanish? Um, So I got like bad grades in my Spanish class, to be honest with you. But when I graduated high school, I tried going to college. Kids uh-huh. don't 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 pay attention to me right now, <laughs> but it footsteps. wasn't for me. Right. It's not Where'd for you go? everybody. Where'd you go? Um, Kansas University okay. in Lawrence, Kansas. Okay. Lasted like five the Jayhawks, months. Jayhawks, right? Yeah, okay. it's Rock Talk yeah. Jayhawks. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> no, but then I literally failed like everything because I realized, oh, there's like 300 people in each class and they don't take attendance. Mm. So I don't have to technically be here and they don't care. <laughs> and so I just slept the whole time and did nothing <laughs> and I danced salsa and I was just all over the place. How and did then, salsa yeah. get to Kansas? I found them. <laughs> okay. I found the Latinos that were there, no and shit. I yeah, I yeah, was, I'm just like everywhere. Yeah, I'm obsessed, and so then I um basically after college when I realized it wasn't for me, uh, I got back and I was like, man, I want to learn Spanish. I have to learn Spanish. So me and my best friend, she had a boyfriend in DR. Oh shit! And, yeah. <laughs> who was building his? Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, <laughs> yeah, in Nagua of all oh, places, damn, yeah. Yeah. Naguera, oh, yeah. right here, and um and basically he was building a house and it was almost done. He's like, oh, you could stay there for free. And we're like for free we'll go there uh-huh. yeah. that's what we did free so, 99 is all, yeah. all yeah, time free 99 <laughs> is on time yeah. and hey, that's where you learn a little bit of spanish oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's that, where the, the basis well, of my spanish what's language. your background just Which looking is, at looking at your name it seems like swedish or something like that yeah i'm scandinavian, yeah. scandinavian, scandinavian? Okay. yeah norwegian and swedish okay mm-hmm. all right cool so and, yeah. and, and your parents originally like from minnesota where, where's yeah. your background come from originally minnesota i mean my dad was born in brooklyn um, okay. But he lived a lot in Norway. Okay. My mo- my mom never lived or went to Sweden, but okay. yeah, like my grandma, everybody. Straight uh, Gophers, Minnesota yeah. Gophers. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Vikings. I know, I know all my don't talk about, yeah, I know all my mascots for no, some reason. Just don't talk about the Timberwolves. It's like <laughs> <Yeah>. kind of sad. <laughs> you guys have gar- had Garnet forever. We did. Then, it yeah. was actually that was the good times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the highlight moments. Yeah, it's awesome. That was awesome. Hey, so uh, did you study uh, when you went to college? Did you, were you into radio? How did you get into radio? Not at all. No? I just like shoved my foot in the door uh-huh. and I got in yeah. there. I remember when you came down here for the first time. What you were working with Laz? Well, I don't know what I did yes. in the studio that day but i remember we were that's meeting. so true yeah. that's where was I first somebody's met birthday you? or something like that i don't I know don't what know. it was Laz made it yeah. seem like yeah. it was a birthday every day so <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right, right, you right, know right. he had like yeah, tequila in the morning <laughs> coffee they like the tequila with coffee or something <laughs> yeah, that's how he'd start the <laughs> mornings <laughs> off i can't no and, and, and then with Laz in the morning it was like starting at what four in the morning five in the morning it was early Laz is he's a party it doesn't matter yeah he's a man and he's doing it now it's just out of Laz. now it's volley <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Um, so, so how did you get into radio? Um, so when I got back from DR from that trip that I went, I I only came back because I ran out of money. I like <laughs> was calculating. That's my hard order. to do there too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get so much for so little. I got so sick of arroz con pollo because it was the yeah. cheapest thing I could oh, eat there, and I was what? like, I'm gonna live off a of fundita de agua and arroz con pollo <laughs> so I can last here longer, and I'll just take advantage of anybody that wants to buy me drinks, and we're good. Right. Yeah. You know. And so then when I finally was running out, I was like. Fine, I'll go back. I went back to Minnesota and I started Googling bachata concerts because I fell in love with bachata. Mm. And it was ironic that that weekend, uh, Grupo Extreme, I don't know if you remember that group. Yeah, for sure. Yo, when Shorty Shorty was really yeah. hot. Uh-huh. Shorty Shorty. Yeah, baby girl, you look so hot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now. Let's go. I went to that <laughs> concert and that was where I met my first radio boss. DJ mm. Moquito, he's from Chicago, but he was um, starting a radio station in Minnesota, an AM station. Damn. You know, more distance. Don't hate on the AM stations. Yeah. They get further. If <laughs> yeah. you didn't know, further coverage. <laughs> um, they might not be as that's cool she, now. That's radio, what she said. <laughs> radio talk, radio talk. <laughs> Let's go. But um, so, yeah, he was like, why are you gringa? And you dance salsa and bachata and all this. And, like, do you want to come to the radio station? I was like, sure. 
Like, I've never seen one before. Yeah. So I went, and then he put me on the radio. He had everybody call in and uh, pick a name for me. And at that time, they called me La Guerra Sabrosa. Damn. And so then <laughs> um, that was, like, the start. And so yeah. I interned there because I loved it every day. And in the mornings, I worked at my parents' restaurant. So I just, to make that's ends awesome. meet. That's yeah. awesome. So that's how it all started right there in Minnesota. That's awesome. So oh, what, what type of restaurants your, did your parents have? My parents own. I'm a foodie. I love it. When you said food, I just, er. Yeah. <laughs> you know the original Pancake House? Not yes. an IHOP. Yes, Don't no, 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 the original disrespectful. package. No, no, there's actually one here on uh, Sunset. The and, no, on Sunset in the 90s or 97, the Sunset. Yeah, they, it's a franchise, so they right, own yeah. the one. It's the original spot. pancake house. I've, I've been yeah. there. There's yeah. one right there. In the but what? The so what? Is that your parents? No, but it's not the same. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not say they own that, one of the they they own one of the um, franchises. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. that was like their thing. I was like, woo. No, I, <laughs> I, I, we pulling up. <laughs> this radio things were fun then. <laughs> no, I know. And so radio was easy for me because like growing up in a restaurant business, you have to talk to strangers all the time right. and be comfortable with that. And so radio just it worked. That's awesome. It was perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Damn. And uh, so your first radio gig was Minnesota, doing yeah. that one right there. Yep, AM stage. I was there for five years. Probably, yeah, something like that. that's awesome. And you was programming the music, or you was what was? I started off interning. Then I worked my way to like I was doing some sales on the side to make some extra cash. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, fine. Now you officially have a, a time slot. And then they said, oh, do you want to do? Uh, like our event planning so I was like planning like concerts with La India and like Alexis Fido at that time and I was making these awesome concerts and then they asked me to be the general manager and so I was the general manager on this little rinkadink station for a while I feel proud even though it was small yeah Yeah, and so you got and then you got the the radio knowledge from from being there hell yeah that was like and mm -hmm. what was your next move from Minnesota where'd you go so I was in radio at the AM station, but I knew I needed to go to FM to go a little further, you know? Um, So to make the jump to FM, I ended up getting an opportunity at B96 at the time, which was switching to 96.3 now. Mm -hmm. And so I jumped from being like full-time on the Spanish station, and they gave me an opportunity for every other weekend on the FM station. I was like, Is this still Minnesota? (laughs) What? Is that still in Minnesota? Yeah. Yeah. And so then I made the switch. Okay. and um, <laughs> I was there, and then I worked up to getting like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And this is on a Latin station in Minnesota. No, this is now oh, an yeah. English station. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 English. Okay. But I knew <laughs> I needed to jump somehow to FM, whether it was English or Spanish, right. just so I could get right, my dream right. job, Absolutely. which was somewhere on the East Coast or West Coast on a yeah, Spanish yeah, yeah, station. Yeah, 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 my yeah. dream was to work with Enrique because I'd been following him forever. Enrique, what? Enrique, what? Enrique, what? Enrique, it was awesome. my goal in life. That's awesome. And I made it. So now what do I do? And over there, you would hear it, right? You know? Let's go. And in Minnesota, you would hear him over there too. What? Well, yeah, online yeah, yeah. at For that sure. time, online, yeah. the online radio. You like well, go to the website, <laughs> you click what? Yeah. What years are this? What what, what year is that? Like oh, when you over there? Why you want to do that? To me? <laughs> Don't blink. No. I'm, tra- I'm trying to figure it out myself. Listen, Sorry, guys. Listen, I graduated <laughs> in 2005, and then they do. You're young as heck. Yeah, yeah she's like super young. This was like 2011. And how okay, was been? And how was the radio in Minnesota? There, how was the club scene? Was it the club popping? And you had the weekend show where you promoting the club? Oh yeah. At that time, I had no kids, and you know, it's yeah. I was going out every night to dance. I was going out to the Latin clubs. I, that was it. Uh-huh. Every single night in Minnesota, you believe it or not, it's and, lit. And they had a few. Yeah, they had every single night, and the people know how to dance. Like a no bunch shit. of gringos like me <laughs> love to dance salsa. They have nothing Damn. else to do. You That's know, awesome. so they go. It's and the way I even started dancing salsa was they were gonna pay kids that were my age when I was like 16, they were gonna pay kids a summer program. Hey, if you come for three weeks, two hours every day, we'll pay you 70 bucks a week if you learn how to dance salsa. And it was to get people joined in the community, understanding other right. cultures. So mm. people people love it over there. They but love damn. it. Damn, yeah, Minnesota. Yeah. Minnesota. You been there in Minnesota? I have not been to Minnesota. Uh, you know, I, w- I would love to go. But, but we have uh, Mall of America. Th- yeah, I know. That's, that's right. Uh, yeah, so. it's a huge mall with a roller coaster in it. It's, yes. it's They've been uh, saying that they were going to do that, something like that, that here you know, in Miami. The, the last thing people uh, associate is Minnesota and salsa. You know what I mean? That's that's wild. Exactly. Mm-hmm. People underestimate. Which is dope. It's dope. Yeah, yeah they do sure. underestimate for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Thank you. And, and so. So from Minnesota, when how did you do? The, I'm I'm trying to get to Miami. How did you get to to the? I radio? fell in love with Mafia. There you go. Oh, well, you met him in Minnesota? I was in Minnesota no when shit. I met him. I nice. down Shout out to Mafio. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. being straight up. I, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't come here because I had a radio gig waiting. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I fell in love with him. You're getting the scoop right here and don't blink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I came yeah. down to Miami only for the Latin Billboard Awards one year. Okay. I had an opportunity to come, and I was 
going to our group for some reason kept on linking up with his group and i was like who's this guy with like glasses on at the club like <laughs> yeah. people in minnesota don't do that and yeah. like he was wearing sperry's and stuff i was like what is a guy in miami wearing sperry's uh. i didn't understand and i thought he was so cute and i at the end i was like man i'm gonna just walk up to him and i walked up to him he was a in a vip area i walked up to him i was like you want a drink i'll make you a drink right now and he's like Okay, sure. And he, I got him a drink, but then he wouldn't talk. <laughs> and I was like, shit, fine. This guy doesn't like me anymore. Whatever. And I gave up. <laughs> and then when I was walking to my car, he was like, yo, you're really fine. Uh, and I was like, yeah, but I... now it's too late. I leave tomorrow, so now it's too <laughs> yeah, late, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then um, when I got back to Minnesota... I swear to you, Facebook is creepy because it goes, <laughs> you may know this person. Remember, you know how it like, yeah, robs oh, two yep, people yep, yep. and it's a mafia Alcatraz. And I was like, that's the guy. Oh, Let me, shit. you know, like, <laughs> and then I started conversating with him and he was like super talkative there. And I was like, well, why do you talk so much here? Not there. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, this is nice. And so at that time it was Skype, you know. Yeah. And so you Skype. He's like, "You want to Skype?" I'm like, "I'm not that type of girl. No, I don't <laughs> Skype with you right now." Yeah, yeah. But then we find that he was living in Venezuela at the time. We just for a year we're long distance. That's and awesome. And then I Dope. just packed up my stuff in the car and I drove down here. That's awesome. Damn. That's there you awesome. Go, there you okay. go, ladies. Yo, take yeah. a shot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, take yeah. a shot. Shoot you know your shot, shot, ladies. Shot, you know what You gotta babe. take some risks. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take some risks. You know, like yeah. you gotta live. You live once. If you feel it, just Absolutely. try it. What's the worst no, that can happen? And, 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 and you guys got two beautiful kids. Yeah. yeah. I, I love their names. Badass names. Marley Thank and Presley. You. Amazing yes. names. That's badass. Um, you guys are a dope couple. You Thank know, you. Power couple for sure. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I'm I actually went uh, like pre-pandemic for sure, like two years ago maybe, the white party you did for his birthday. At yeah, Copper it's Blue. coming yeah. back. It's okay, coming. It's coming. Cool. It's right around the corner. Don't blink is in there. That's I it. know. <laughs> it better be. It's, it's the best. That I'm coming in with my like headphones and everything. I go, Matthew's this microphone. <laughs> the white table. Hey, when is his birthday? It, the 24th of January. Yeah. Okay, cool. It is coming up. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah. It'll That's be cool. around then. It's not always right on the day, but yeah. All right, cool. We'll perfect. And so, what, what do you got What, what do you got going on uh, nowadays? Hmm. Were you working? I'm a mom. You, yeah, mom, right? That's and what I got going mom, on. Mom, you're still on the radio, correct? <laughs> no, yeah, of course I am. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm kidding. I just feel like when you have two kids <laughs> yeah. that you're like, so, and you know, the no. pandemic, I was working from home, you know, you oh. had to figure out, they gave you uh, us like a roadcaster to work from mm -hmm. home so we could do everything from home. Your whole show connected. <laughs> You're safe. dropping bombs. Well, listen, I had my daughter crying in the background while I'm trying to yeah, do my show. It no, was a it was shit, a mess. So no. finally we're back at the station, which is really nice. It feels refreshing to kind of like be able to focus, you know. That's a mm -hmm. badass Moms story, understand. man. Yeah. But um, I'm doing that middays still. Um, I've been there since two two ninety four nine started, and it's been amazing. Cool. I've just and then I'm just realizing how much social media matters. And working on that, right. and I have some other projects in the works that I can't talk about yet. You know, but no. it's exclusive. Fun. We love those. It's fun. Yeah. Um. And uh, no, but Mafios pushed me. He's like, you should have your own brand and do your own thing. And so I've been being more open-minded. Developing that. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. No, and, and their daughters got Instagram. They popping already. Oh, too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but you know, Marley I, the other day goes to me. Mommy, you can't post that picture of me. And I go, what do you mean? And she goes, you need to ask my permission. Oh, oh. talk to him. Let, let me tell you something. You know, <laughs> let, I, let me tell you, this is this is no BS. I know your biggest fan is my mom. Oh yeah! <laughs> I swear. Hi mom. My, yeah, Hi. yeah, my mom wanted to be here to, to meet uh -huh. you. She couldn't tonight, but yeah, shout out to mom. She always like, have you seen her? Have you seen Mafia's daughter? My God, oh. <laughs> she's always showing me my girl yeah. your Instagram. I love it. Yeah, I yeah. love it. No, but Marley literally was like. You need to ask permission. That's I was like, hilarious. what do you mean? She goes, well, it's not fair that you put something up without me, without asking me first. I was like, now that I think about it, the parents now just post stuff without even asking or thinking about how they're <laughs> going to feel in 10 years. And I go, Marley, you know what? You are 100% right. Everything I post, I'm going to ask your permission. So, like, I haven't been able to post anything since. Because she, <laughs> she locked you out. She, no, she's just saying no to everything. Oh, I'm yeah, like, well, yeah. Marley, you gotta cut, meet me in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. this is not a bad picture or a, a video. It's super dope, and I don't know. She's, but she's a character. She's super. She's that's like awesome. Mafia. Mm -hmm. She's very. Uh, she knows what she wants. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. That's and they awesome. all got the music in them too. Every time yeah. Mafia posts a video of them dancing and listening awesome. to the music, it's that's super awesome. dope no, for sure. Yeah. Super musical kids and and and. They're going to be into show business for sure. <laughs> no, my daughter Marley got back into dancing and she goes to a dance school nearby mm -hmm. um, called Baila Con Micho. And it's very, uh, it's, they're amazing. They're so good with the kids. And so they have a performance 
um, and the beginning of December. And so she's working so hard with that's that. Awesome. But she's got rhythm. It's definitely in their blood. It's that's the awesome. Dominican yeah, awesome. rhythm. I don't know. That's awesome. I from her dad. That's awesome. Hell yeah. How is it now after the pandemic on the radio? Like you, you guys are obviously back in the station, right? Yeah, we're back in the station. But, you know, radio is ever evolving. Yeah. And so I think the pandemic taught us all how... Uh, maybe it's good and bad. It's good because you can realize how much you can do on your own at home right. and you don't need a building to technically right. execute what you normally would do in a building. So a lot of people have need to learn the skills because you don't know what if the building's not there? Are you yep. gonna be able to, or do you know how to do your job? Do you know how to work the equipment from home? Like you have to start forcing yourself to learn yeah. all the other things of course so that you're ready it's like life or death if you don't if you stay behind and you don't want to learn about social media you don't want to learn about how to do stuff remotely then you're going to stay behind yeah the world, you know? the world is definitely moving forward when yeah. it comes what, to what's one stuff. of those things that we say here that we've said on the in the past here i don't know we'll be driving evolve, on evolve no is something that oh uh, yeah evolve or die really yeah <laughs> what evolve or die <laughs> yeah, yeah. literally that's yeah. that's very yeah, true yeah, yeah. Very yeah. true. Very true. move forward or we get so you've been picking it up quick Listen, I'm on top of it. I'm always like, I'm obsessed. I'm like OCD about work stuff and I want to be the first to do it and I want to do it the best. Yeah. And so I always just, I try to overachieve a little, but it's fine. I just, I would hate to be in a group meeting and I'm called out. That's like my, my worst fear right, right, is to be in a meeting and they're like, oh, somebody did this on the station and you're not supposed to. And I'm like, shit, that's me. No, I don't want to be that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm <laughs> I'm always on top of my shit yeah, when it comes yeah, that's to work. It, for no, sure. you have to be for sure. Yeah. It, let me ask you on your on, on, when you're on the, on the radio, you guys talk about current events, right? I mean, my show is more music intensive, so I is it? yeah, but everything is more like what's going on with musicians or something that's super hot topic. I, w I wanted to bring that up about Travis Scott. What happened with Travis Scott? Ah, okay. What about it? <laughs> Can what we do you say? That? <laughs> no, I that, that? no, I don't know. It's just a, it's crazy, a crazy thing that happened, right? I mean, people got trampled. There was like they were saying that people were getting injected or something with drugs. I was like, what? What? <laughs> I mean, do I think he knew people were dying in that moment? No. No, absolutely. But do yeah, I? Yeah. But but, you know, I'm not him and I wasn't on there to understand what it's like. You're an artist. You know yeah, what yeah, it's yeah. like to be yeah. on stage and there's so much going on yeah. and you're just in your mind focused on your rehearsals, what you did in rehearsals. Mm -hmm. You're trying to just like make sure you do everything the way you had planned it. Yeah, right. And also let it go. You're thinking of the lyrics, everything. And, and you're plugged yeah. in. You can't even really hear what the crowd's doing because you got your head, you know, you're... No, and then there's yeah. people, there's people in line for those type of things, right? We got the rescue, fire right. rescue, yeah. the police, security, this, that. I, I honestly don't too, don't know too much about what happened. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't really keep up with it, but I just, you know, everybody hears I about it. I think what he's going to learn a lot from this. That's yeah. all. I think I everyone's think. going to learn from that because he's not the only one that can do a crazy concert with thousands of people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I think there's got to be a lot more precaution going into these type of events this technically could have happened to anywhere yeah anybody could have it couldn't it could have happened at any concert yeah. i'm very curious about how a stampede starts that's where i've been thinking i was like how does one even start like does somebody fall and then one trips over and then it starts like how does the stampede damn i mean happen? To, okay so to, I, I don't I've, understand i've watched ocho Right and ultra, they be getting wild, and crazy. And I, I told <laughs> so, off that I was like, so was like hey, this could have happened at ultra, it's like the energy easily. Is crazy. They, they, they actually made. I saw a video Mosh today. Pits. Yeah, they go I, crazy. I saw a video today on TikTok where they 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 had Pitt in concert and Pitt stopped the concert because I guess something was happening in the back. Yeah. People getting pushed forward, and you know he handled it well. Again, I wasn't there for Travis Scott. I don't know what happened. I just what I'm hearing on you know social yeah, yeah. media. So maybe media. he should have done that. Maybe he should have. You know, but should have, would have, could have, but he didn't. So if he I had mean, the opportunity yeah. to, you know, like, again, things start and you don't think they're gonna get as bad as it gets. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so unfortunate. I mean, yeah, I think it's at the eight so far, or has it gone up more? I, I know, know there was a couple um, people still in comas uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's crazy. What else? What what other current event have you been talking about? Well, I, oh I, I got one that all the, oh. girl, all the girls have been keeping up with this one. I know, oh. I know my girls have been keeping up with this what, one. What, the picture that you posted with your shirt no, off on Instagram? No, no, <laughs> no, the Brian Laundry. Brian oh. Laundry and, and the Gabby one. Oh, but that's old now. I know. It is oh, that's old, old school? It is, it Which is. one was that? I that know, was like I, a few weeks know. back, no? It, like, yeah, it's it over. Nobody's really talking about that No, that's it. It's over, but it, yeah, because it was so much. <laughs> it was so I just found it interesting how TikTok was quicker than the police. I just feel like it was, I felt like I was more... 
that, that's the funny thing about social media is like you get it quicker it is the from there. Yeah. And, they, and they actually, there's like these TikTokers that are obsessed with like, like over analyzing a video that maybe a normal police or FBI agent that's how we wouldn't got know. Flat earthers and stuff. You know? <laughs> Listen, but, but the thing is, is like they were coming up with some crazy stuff and realizing the book he was reading in this video was about basically what happened and like there's they're bringing it down. Stuff. Yeah, they got a little bit more time. You know what I mean? They got yeah. a little bit more time yeah, to get yeah, down yeah, and yeah. dirty with yeah. it. They must be getting good TikTok money. Do people get a lot of money on TikTok? Because I'm like... Uh, I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews. I heard yes. I've heard no. I don't know, honestly. Oh it's God, maybe like how you use it, depending yeah. on how you use it. Yeah. Ugh, but I society, just, what do you think about society moving forward? Like, look at what just happened there, right? Like, where society is faster than, you know, the system. You think it's going to continue to be like that? Or you think, you know what I'm saying, the system is going to be able to catch up? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think it's a matrix. I've seen going some down. stuff in Only in Date, and it's like, what? <laughs> I know. No, for like Only in Date is where it's at. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's well, awesome. Uh, what, what do you got coming up in your career, man? Well, you told me some some things you can't talk about right now. Yeah, so she got some things. I guess, in, she I got guess, some projects. You know, I'm chilling. Keep I'm uh, right now. I just feel like you got to live too. Yeah. You know, I think it's really good to work really hard, but at the same time, being a mom is honestly the most important thing. Really. Awesome. Yeah. And I, it made everything else not, it's not that not, everything else doesn't matter. I still take it super seriously, but I'm not over obsessive about about things. But I do set goals for myself. I do want to achieve them. But my main goal is being a mom. Like I thoroughly, there's nothing better. There's cool. nothing better than being with your kids. There just isn't. That's like awesome. We just went on vacation to DR and it was like our real technically first family vacation with all four. Uh. And it was just like, I cried. I got to the beach and the moment I got there, I started crying, yeah. and I looked. I looked at Mafi. Goes, why are you crying? We're on a beach and <laughs> vacation. I go, I'm just so happy. Yeah. It like yeah. hit my stress and the anxiety that I didn't realize I was having back here because we live this fast life, especially Miami. You go to Minnesota, it's a little bit more chill. Absolutely. People like chill. It's not like so crazy right. like Miami. Yeah. But I didn't realize how stressed I was, and I got there, and I was realizing I have nowhere to go. I have no work to do. I, I, you know, I don't need to be posting any videos or doing any any shit, and yeah, can I can crazy. enjoy can my family. And yeah. that was a moment for me that I was like, I, this needs to be more often. It needs to be a pri more of a priority. For sure. Like you can't overstress. Like anxiety is like a problem nowadays. Like yeah. mm -hmm. there's too much. Yeah. And society, society is, is no. Every other commercial is about an anxiety pill. You know what I mean? And it'll give you diarrhea, bloating, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, might, it might kill you in your sleep, but oh. you'll stop the anxiety. One hundred percent. I can't with those commercials. Yeah, oh my god, man! Yeah. And how long were you in DR? Uh, we were there for a week. We went to. We didn't want to go to Punta Cana like yeah. everybody goes to. Right, right, All right, right, let me tell you guys something—a secret. You need to go to Las Terrenas. It's not a secret do anymore. Not go, just don't go to Punta Cana. Well, it's not that don't go to Punta Cana because now I'm gonna like be, people will be mad at me. <laughs> yeah. it, Punta Cana is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It is. but it's not the Absolutely. real DR. Yeah. You gotta go to like where it's not yeah, so don't, touristy. Right, don't yeah. go to, and enjoy uh, the people. Don't go to um the resort. A resort. Don't go to no, a resort. Go, go you gotta out there. go find where there's some fritura. Yeah. You gotta yeah. go and find yourself like the locals and <laughs> I get tell to everybody know DR. I've been uh, you know I've stayed. That's where I stay when I go to DR. With, you know with the Wait, fam. Wait, you, you stay with Punta Cana? No, no, no. Oh, with, was, the, with family was, outside. Sorry, you know, no, 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 no. Yeah. Um, and I would tell people when you go to these places like shacks. They look like they're breaking apart. You go in there, they get the coldest presidente beer. Yes, bien ceniza. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah. It. See, that yeah, was yeah. Spanish right there. Yeah, yeah, I know, but the sure. presidente is A Rod. They do not taste the same here. No. We need no. to figure that out because yeah. I don't get it. I think that they need to figure that out really quick because I want to get one here and feel like I'm there. <laughs> over there. I, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? They be bamboozling it over yeah, here. I think, I think they the put a little more water in here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. To yeah, serve bro. more of the population. <laughs> 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 no idea. Love you, a Rob, but please. For real. For real. Yeah, Stop no. messing with the president. Let me tell you, that's uh, great advice where, where what she was saying right now. She didn't even know she was doing it, but we all need a little vacation, bro. You know what I mean? We all you know need some mean? time to ourselves with our family Yeah. and be able to you know, express yourself. Yourself with, and then you people. recharge. It's like you do better when you for get sure. back. It's for the sure. weirdest thing. You just you're overworked. Everybody's yeah. overworked here in Miami. You, you feel better. And you're already planning for the next one. Yeah. 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 And at the end of your vacation, you start feeling like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to get back to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And motivated and everything. But it's the best feeling to fully relax. Like it's not just a three week or a three day vacation to the keys yeah. or like something quick no you need right. to go a week right yeah. right right. because yeah. it takes two days to really break it down break it down okay break it down a full week you need boom right. full week you need 
week. Day one, you get there, you're stressed because you were traveling. Boom. The next day, you're letting the anxiety like slowly leave you because Usa. you're like you're still running. Boom. When okay. you really should be chilling. Right. Then day three, you're like, okay, I'm on vacation. Oh. Then you have day four, day five, day six, and then on day six, you're like, shit. I leave tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> and then you go. Stressed out all over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what yeah, you got. Yeah, you just got to yeah. give yourself a few days. No, I'm going to give myself it. two weeks then. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to chill out a <laughs> whole disconnect, week. Without, you'll disconnect. go crazy yeah. after a week. I know. Like, I know. She so stress myself back out. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody yeah. wants to go home. Nigga, because of not doing nothing. Yeah. You're like, what? Well, hold up, though. What do you mean I'm not not That's doing nothing? That's a thing, though. Yeah, hell yeah. That's a thing. I'll be Boy, feeling like that. You be feeling My like sister, that. K. Marie, man, you're an amazing person. Thank I, you. I, I love your story. You know, like, uh, she give a lot of inspiration to women out there who are moms uh-huh. and got a career. You know what I mean? Because you're making it happen. Uh-huh. It's dope. You should write a book. Balance. Cause, Listen, cause, maybe cause one tell day. You, I, I, I'm Minnesota, Kansas, Miami, mom, Dominican, salsa like, yeah. dancing, bachata, I, I, um, um, Scandinavian. You yeah, know? I mix. mean, I think I, in, with what the world's going through right now, with like the whole cultures and everything topic, I just feel like it's really important to recognize. Because I have also a lot of people that hate me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah well. and uh, people that don't like that I am a white girl on Spanish radio, and yeah. they just spread hate, even on my social media. But I always think in this day and age, isn't it nice to have somebody like me wanting to learn about your culture and wanting to and love it and want to be around it? Isn't that the point? Absolutely, you know? yeah. so let's embrace it. You know, absolutely. I, I think it's a, a fun thing. And let me tell you, you're, you're, nobody that's hating on you is doing better than you. You know what I mean? Everybody's. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that I've always, uh, I learned a lot through my first radio gig here in Miami. Don't need to get into de- details, but yeah, I learned that um, women seem, maybe men too, but women seem to be scared to like, uh, to to ask for more money or to, you know, look over a contract and change it mm-hmm. they think oh this, i should be grateful that i got the opportunity and i should just sign on the dotted line no you should get a freaking lawyer look Man. at that shit change it and you ask for more and you reach for the stars because guess what what's the worst that can happen they come they 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 go up further they maybe don't reach to what you wanted but at least you got more yeah it's better than signing on the dotted line and leaving yourself at where they they just start testing you so I think if you're going into like radio and contracts are involved or any gig like that or any job, you should always counter offer and say, this is what I want. This is what I deserve. This is what I need. need. And guess and it might be scary because you're worried about losing the job. You won't lose it. They're just testing you. I just think that's my biggest piece of advice. Hell yeah. I like, you know? that. I like that. I like that. Know your worth. Get more bread. You should. You know it's, it's crazy because, yeah. like, I feel like uh, when I first got into radio here, it was very male dominant. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, m- m- they would make you feel like if you counter offered or you counter, you, you wanted to counter their offer, um, they made you feel like you were not grateful or right. like you didn't. You, like if you wanted to go on vacation, they make you feel, I, oh, I think, you don't I, care I, about I your think job. All, I think all those hungry. things are like business strategies too. You know? You know? Yeah, 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 that's corporate world. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Like you're gonna I, take a vacation, I'm, okay? Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> my job. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, you know? yeah, she deserves it. You know? <laughs> no. <laughs> and you really do. You're like what? Yeah, <laughs> it makes well, like, six years without a day off. But yeah. that's <laughs> where you get like you get. Yeah, yeah. In your head, and you say, yeah. "Oh, I am not being grateful," and you start doing <laughs> yeah. what yeah, they. you start questioning yourself for whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I think women need to respect themselves. Yeah. You don't. You can stick up for yourself if a guy is disrespecting you in your work. You can stick up for yourself. You have your right. You should always draw the line mm-hmm. and make sure that nobody crosses that line. Because the moment you let it cross once, then they're gonna cross it again. So draw That's your right. line of respect. Make sure you always counter. Um, whatever offer they give you, and take your fucking vacations. Yeah, <laughs> don't leave them on the table. Don't be scared. Don't Let's be go. scared. Let's go, man. <laughs> hey, Hell check yeah. out my sister, our sister, man, K Marie on ninety four nine, right? Yes, working dude. With, working with her, where he gets Santos. Yeah, bro. I was gonna ask her that. Like, I was <laughs> yeah. gonna ask her about that. Like, how did it? How did that moment happen? Like, no, how did that feel and, for you? And she wanted it. She manifested. Yeah, it. Yeah, she wanted it. I did, but I also like walked up to him at a, a random event, and I was like. Well, not a random event, but it was um, it was like a charity event. Yeah. And I saw him, and I was like, <laughs> like I need to walk up, and I was like, Enrique, and he was like, Yeah, and I was like, I'm ready. 
I'm hungry. I'm ready. I want to work Security. for you. <laughs> I work. Probably. Probably. I was like, I want to work for you. And like, I, I will not let you down. And then within a couple of months, there was something brewing. Yeah, and was. I just patiently waited. And then I had a meeting and everything worked out great. Boom, hit awesome. him with the counter offer. Like, yeah. And then he said, I, I, I do. It. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. And here we are today, living it up. How many yes. more? Ye- awesome. How many years already there together? I mean, now at um, maybe it's like five years. Five, yeah, five, like five. That's, that's pretty. Yeah. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. yeah. Enrique's been killing. Enrique came here too, Enrique's and he's been shouting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was with us. He was here putting. Uh, he had his uh, phone number on billboards. You know. That, <laughs> oh, thanks, Mark Anthony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the prank of the century. That was guys. epic. <laughs> it was epic, it and was. everybody's like, "Oh, was that a joke?" No, it was. It was real. It yeah, was. This it was real. That literally was literally happened. It was amazing. But Enrique's um the best example of what a uh, radio personality should be i'm not even just because he's my boss no, no we call him we call him the latin um uh what's his name damn it was a white guy uh, huh? don't say ryan seacrest right yeah yeah <laughs> no, no, but he, I, mean, <laughs> I killed it maybe <laughs> sorry i mean the thing about enrique though is he's more for the community i don't know i know no, he's, 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 he's my brother I, and i don't mean it in that way but he's like he's like he's on everything you know what i mean he's he, on everything he helps local artists yeah. local businesses He's a part-time police. He's a what do you police reserve? Or yeah, no? reserve yeah. police. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. reserve police officer. He's radio personality. He's donates money to charities. He's always doing stuff for the community. I yeah. just think he's a perfect example of yeah. what you using your platform to do good. And he goes inside yeah. telephone sure. booths and turns into Car- Clark Kent too, bro. <laughs> he's, yeah. super, he's Superman too. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. No, he is That's super all. awesome. Enrique has always been no, showing love in my no. career, everything. Yeah. You know, so shout out to Enrique, bro. Yeah, yeah. Enrique, so I love he's given a lot of he's nah. given a lot of us a lot of opportunities. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So he's he's definitely a good man, bro. And That's he right. always responds to his text messages. If Absolutely. he hasn't responded oh, to you, then Absolutely. it's because he was like, no, I'm just kidding. Even, <laughs> even, even, even the people that don't know him, they text him from the Palmetto. Like, yo, he's I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they send him a bunch of dick pics and shit. No, Hey, man. Um. Oh, before we go, before we go, it's uh, it's this question we ask all our guests on the show. Oh, do you believe in aliens? Hell yeah! Yes. What? What? How Let's could you go. not? Yes. Are you dumb? Are we yeah. like it's twenty twenty one? How could you not believe in aliens? Oh, There's damn. so much proof. They're was throwing it? clubs in Winwood and shit, dog. Yeah, <laughs> but that was a rap. Did space, you just rap right there? Right <laughs> space. What happened to Space Nightclub, by the way? The aliens took it over. Aliens got tired of human shit there, <laughs> and they closed yeah. it. They closed yeah. it out, no, and they only in there by themselves. Does space look I don't Yeah, I think they do. Like on the uh, late night though, uh, I be seeing friends be posting up uh, there at seven in the that. morning. Bing, uh, bing. I have a coworker bing. that believes he was actually, uh, what do you call it? Um, teleported. No, 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 no. Not teleported. You were. No. Uh, you know abducted? the word? Huh? Abducted. Abducted. Yeah, yeah, abducted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was looking Thank for you, like a. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? First word. Where's five our syllables. coffee? Where's our coffee when we <laughs> need it? Um, abducted. <laughs> Why could I not come up with that word? What? Okay. Yeah, he actually truly believes he was abducted. Like, he's done podcasts about it. Like, he be- no truly, shit. truly believes I, he was. And he has, like, his own personal evidence of it. And he remembers everything that happened. He he knows. And he's not scared about it. Damn, we got to get him he up here. He truly believes. No and, bush. No bush. We want, we want, after the show, we want his name. I want my one on one as a guest. Of course. And he looks like it. Clark Kent. So no it's shit. Funny. Damn. Yeah. So he might be. That's funny. So you got and no what was pro- it that no he problem did? talking about getting pro? What did he tell you? <laughs> like what? He got abducted, and then some crazy shit happened up there in that. Yeah, let him, let him tell us. Let him tell us. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I can't remember. That's I can't remember exactly. It was a few years ago. He told me, but I think I was in so much shock that I didn't retain much information other yeah. than you were abducted by aliens. So what? <laughs> you you ever have any uh, encounters or have you ever seen, seen anything? anything crazy? No. The other day, I was running. It probably was a meteor. Okay. But yeah. I did it crossed my mind like, what the fuck was that? Did yeah, everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started looking on only in date and yeah. all this stuff thinking like did somebody else yeah, see what yeah, I yeah, saw? Yeah, 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 yeah. And nobody. It, I googled nothing. Damn. And I was like that was definitely not a plane. It was not so like un well UFO an unknown flying yeah, object. Yeah, it yeah, was a UFO. Identified. Yeah. But Damn. were there aliens? I don't know. <laughs> our, last, our last guest said that he's seen um, Chinese satellites or something like that in the air. Oh and yeah, he yeah, saw yeah, yeah. landing. No, I seen the satellites too though. Yeah, yeah. Chinese? You, what makes them Chinese? I don't know. I don't know. He said that. I don't know. He said that. Latino, you got to clear that up, bro. We're going to post it on Instagram. I try these Everybody. lanterns are the ones that creep me out. When people do the lanterns, oh, I, I think I'm too. seeing something. Yeah, and then yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, those That's are just... That's happened to me. 
That's happened to me as well. <laughs> Damn, as well. a few things happened to Yuli already. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can be an adopted bro. <laughs> They're real though. They're real though. Area Fifty One has got some stuff. I'm I sure. I agree. I and agree. I'm always googling stuff, and I you know you never know if like the the videos of aliens are actually like some the, of them are obviously fake. But then you wonder no, now so what if the real one is mixed up in there? So this is my thing. I I I I believe that there's something out there, right? You watch all these like super dope alien shows, and they always end the same way. You still don't know if they're around. So I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. God, I stopped watching the shows already. But it's also like, I mean, how much evidence do you need? To know that they're around. I need a little more. I need a do little more. Do you need more. to speak to one? I do. I, do. <laughs> I, do. I think <laughs> I am one. You know what I mean? <laughs> have a seance. You need to get a Ouija board yeah, or some yeah. shit. No, yeah. that's for just other spirits. Yeah, that's yeah. another that's topic. That's what I like. I, 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 I did say one time that I feel like they've evolved. You know what I'm saying? I feel like maybe like it's Aliens? not really what we think. Like they don't really look like what we think think they look like Maybe. and they're already no, like, like, like the, in the mix I emoji. Dig <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, you know that's I mean? probably yeah, that's, it's not technically That's why when Yuli says like I feel like I'm an alien. I feel like okay, maybe. No, I, I say that because 300 you know, years ago they look people some that uh, you know, we think outside the box, we do things differently, you know, and people think we're aliens. And yeah. We're, well, we are aliens to them. Right, right. Exactly. I'm down with that. I like that. They actually. just come to visit and be like, "Where are these weirdos? What are they right. doing?" And they bring us a why new are iPhone they every time. Garbage they come? out into yeah. their <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they drop an iPhone every fucking 6 I months. <laughs> <laughs> and listen to us and go to Facebook yeah. and be like, oh, what the fuck? No, uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> hey, K-Marie949, thank yes. you so much for joining us, thank man. Thank you. You've been amazing. Oh. Yo, but iPhone, right quick. I, sorry, I, 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 yeah, sorry. Right. <laughs> but, but right quick, before you go, did you learn how to do Mangu already or what? For sure. Okay. No, the see? Mangu is <laughs> so, a lost cause. Oh. Okay. Poor Mafia. I can't, I can't make anything. <laughs> I even uh, one Mafia, time I had a Mafia Dominican or he's Venezuelan? Dominican. Oh, Dominican. Dominican what? Damn. Oh, my God. Defend your man. <laughs> Who are you? No, so, so the Sancocho, I tried uh -huh. to sit and watch his mom make Sancocho, okay. and I was, like, writing down so that I could write, like, the steps. Oh. I lost it at like she was doing puree of I don't know what and then I lost it at I, yeah, I gotta else catch a chicken. <laughs> I was like, okay, I can't. No, 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 no. I yeah, sancocho is a little difficult. Sancocho, yeah. you that's just yeah, that's mom dukes he, right there. Yeah, but mangu, can, he can help you mahalo mangu and yeah. then you get the eggs or something. The you thing trove. is, in sancocho, there's, also, there's like the, like the, yeah, like you said, like it comes with spirits and shit. Yeah, it's there's a whole bunch of things: vivere, <laughs> tomato, corn. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of you're gonna get it soon though. I don't know. No, she doesn't want to do sancocho. She don't want to do nothing. There's Uber Eats. I mean, like the, re <laughs> the Yuka go. restaurant down the street. Maybe we'll still order. Yuka Deli. That's all the Yuka Deli. <laughs> there you go. The Yuka restaurant on 36th. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire? Yeah, it's fire. Yeah. They got we, some bomb. Hey, we, we you know what I'm talking about. We need yeah, a sponsor. Yeah, 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 we'll plug yeah, yeah, yeah. you in right here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they have changed a, owners, though, and I don't know, but we'll see. Have a mm -hmm. spread right here on the table. Wait, uh, K. Marie, man, thank you so much for coming through. Thanks for having me. La Gringa, one Latina. When do y'all get in the ring with you? <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I, I, I played I rugby, so Did I, you? Could, I could. What? Yeah, I quit. Yes. Wait, in Minnesota? Yeah. Damn. Oh, mm. Look at that. She I'm a little bit more like tough than. What? Well, wait. Do they have rugby in Minnesota in school? No, because insurance would not cover that, so they have a club. Okay, okay, oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. Like a private organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's rare. What's I mean, up? You was hitting them? You was, you was you knocking them? You can't punch people, no, but, but like, you can you gotta tackle, you tackle them. the crap out of yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. She, she's getting the hands like, dirty, You bro. must have been like the tiniest person you out there. Their <laughs> you go for their knees. Because once you have their knees, then they're... That's it. That's it's a wrap. They're going down, down, down. That's it. Look, if you need to take anybody down, take K. Marie's advice. Grab by the knees. And if you want to learn how to throw a right hook, Yuli will help you with that. There you go. And if you need to write a verse, I'll help you with that. That's it. <laughs> come, to, come to Don't Blink for all your needs. Yeah. This has been blink. another episode of Don't Blink Podcast. Woo! K Marie in the building. Thank you so much. We yes. love y'all, man. Stay tuned. Bow. Bow. I think me and Two Nights got something great going on. We got some great guests coming up. It's going to be dope. We got some dope people that, that already you know signed up to do it with us, which is great. A lot of people show us love. And uh, it's because we love them back for sure.